What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at a new portable power station. This is the Bluetti AC200L. Taking a look at the specs, this has a 2048 watt hour LiPo 4 battery, a 2400 watt power handling, a 1200 watt solar charging input, UPS function, and a very good five year warranty. Taking a look at the power station itself, this is definitely a simple but nice looking power station. The outer shell is made of plastic, but as you can hear, it's definitely a nice and thick plastic, so that's good to see. One thing I really like on this power station is every single port is covered. I've seen a few power stations where they cover most of the ports and the USB stay exposed, but as you can see here, completely nothing is exposed. So if you have little kids running around, you don't have to worry about them sticking anything in the ports. Or if you're outdoors or storing this somewhere, you don't have to worry about any dirt or debris getting in any of the ports as well. So taking a look at your ports, right over here you have your DC outputs. On top you have your cigarette lighter and this puts out 12 volts, 10 amps. And this one below it puts out 48 volts and 8 amps. Right here in the middle you have all your USB ports. On the sides you have two USB-C ports which are 100 watts each. And then right here in the middle, you have two more USB-A ports, which are five volts and three amps. Coming to this side, you have four AC outlets. Always a good thing to see. A lot of power stations put two or sometimes three. Always better to have four. And as you can see here, these are also 20 amp outlets. And then last but not least, right over here, you have a 125 volt, 30 amp port. Coming to the left side, you have a few more ports as well. And again, everything is covered and you even have these little screw caps as well, which is not something I've seen in any other power station. So right here we have a DC slash PV input and this can do 12 through 145 volts. Right down here you have your AC input and this can charge at a very fast 2,400 watts. Over here you have your circuit protector reset switch. And last but not least, you have your battery expansion port, which I'll go over later in this video. Coming to the top here, you have a nice and vivid color screen. Good brightness, good contrast on it. So if you're outdoors, not going to be a problem reading this. One thing I really like about these Bluetti screens is they show you the wattages for both AC and DC. So right up here, you have DC input, AC input. And then down here, you have DC output and AC output. A lot of these power stations only show one number and it combines them both. So for people like me that like to see more information, this is definitely a lot better. Last but not least, you have a number here which calculates how long the power station is gonna last based on the amount of battery you have left and the wattage it's putting out. And this does calculate in real time as well. So depending on what you have plugged in and how much it's drawing, this will keep changing to show you how long it's gonna last with that load. As I said earlier, this has a LifePo 4 battery, but the good thing about it is it is UL listed, which means it's been put through a whole bunch of different tests to make sure it was safe and ready to use. A lot of these power stations out there sometimes use random cells that might be generic. These are usually the ones that you see on the news or YouTube that they end up setting on fire and whatnot. But as long as you stick with a power station like this one that has UL certified batteries, you won't run into any of those issues. One question people always have is how long can the power station run a full size fridge? Unfortunately, on the main floor of my house, we're doing some construction and getting that remodeled so I can't really film up there. So instead, I'll display right here with my mini fridge. A mini fridge typically draws about half of what a full size fridge draws. So coming down here to the power station, as you can see, it's only drawing 77 watts right now and it's estimated to last 19.6 hours. One thing to keep in mind is fridges do cycle on and off, so it's not going to be a steady load. This has been off, so right now it's going to keep drawing that 76 watts until it gets to the temperature it needs to get to. And as soon as it reaches that temperature, it's going to shut off the compressor. And at that point, it's pretty much just powering the fan, so this will drop down to about 3 watts. So even though this says 19.6 hours, once you account for all the times, it's going to drop down to 3 to 4 watts. This fridge on here is actually going to last closer to... 30 or 40 hours. So with the full size fridge, you're likely gonna get about 15 to 25 hours of runtime out of this power station, which is definitely a lot of time and should get you through most power outages. This power station does have UPS function. So simply how this works is you'll connect the power station to your house outlet and then the item you want to have on UPS to this power station. Once it hits 100%, it's basically gonna grab the grid power and pass it through to your appliance. 
And once it detects a power outage, it'll automatically switch inside. So this will now be pulling from the inside battery. This switch happens very quickly as well. So if you have a fridge or even a computer, it won't even shut off. The power station will just switch over to keep everything running seamlessly. So definitely a very nice feature to have. And if you can swing it, I would highly recommend leaving one of these plugged in line to your fridge or other essential items as well. All right, so being that it's summer right now, one thing that's very common is a power outage happens and you get stuck in the scorching heat. No one likes being in that position, so this is one of the times where having a power station like this one really helps. So right now, I have this hooked up to my 14,000 BTU. Excuse the mess. As I said earlier, we're doing a lot of housework to my garage is completely trash. Coming back to the power station, as you can see, it's drawing about 250 watts right now. This is an inverter-based air conditioner, so it'll draw more power and less power depending on how much it needs to cool. So this can go anywhere from what it has now, 250 watts, all the way up to like 1200 watts. But I'm going to go ahead and let this run for about an hour and we'll see how much it drains from the power station. All right, so as you can see, it's been running for a little under an hour and it drew, we'll just call it 15%. So doing the math, this should be able to run a 14,000 BTU air conditioner like this one for about six to seven hours. When power outages do happen, sometimes as they're working on it, the power will go on and off. So if the power does go on for a little bit. This does have 2,400 watts of AC charging, which charges the unit up from zero to 80 in only 45 minutes. So you'll easily be able to almost double your runtime right there. If you do want a longer runtime, you have two different options here. One, you can connect this to 1200 watts of solar panels. And since the air conditioner is drawing under 500 watts, the solar charging will more than offset the entire load and give you at least five to eight hours of extra runtime. Second, if you don't have the space for solar panels, this also works with a few different expansion batteries as well. Depending on which battery you go with and how many you get, this can be expanded all the way up to 8,192 watt hours. One thing I really like about units like this that have expansion batteries is yes, you can get a much larger unit that's 10 kilowatts or whatever. But the problem with that is you have a huge upfront cost as you have to get all the batteries at once. But with this, you can start out with your two kilowatts and add more units and add more batteries as you go. This way, as your time and budget allows, you can grow your solar setup to get it as large as you need it to be. One other thing I really like on these Blue Eddy units is their power lifting feature. So as I said earlier, this has 2400 watts that the inverter can do, and 2400 watts is a lot of power. This can pretty much power anything in your house, whether it be a fridge, microwave, coffee maker, hair dryer, or pretty much anything that would work on a regular outlet. But if you do happen to plug more things in here and need more than that 2400 watts, what power lifting would do is run resistive items at a lower wattage than they require. So say if you have a 1200 watt heater, but you also have 15, 1600 watts of things already plugged into this. With a regular power station, when you plug in that heater, it'll push it over the inverter limit. So it'll shut off and not do it. But this one will run that heater still, even though you're over the limit. By using this, you're able to power up to 3600 watts of devices. So definitely a really nice feature to have as this lets the power station do much more than a power station of this size can traditionally do. All right, so I drained this power station from 100% to zero with a 1700 watt load and it put out a total of 1980 watt hours. Doing the math that gives this unit a usable capacity of 96.6%. Most power stations of this size put out about 80 to 85% on average. So this is definitely much, much better than most other units out there. So this power station does have app connectivity and this is one of the better apps out there as well. This connects through both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so you can be all across the world and still check on your power station. But if you happen to be somewhere that doesn't have Wi-Fi connection, that's when you can connect through Bluetooth instead. So taking a look at the app, similar to the power station, you have your PV input and your grid input. Then you also have your DC output and your AC output. Right here, you have a few toggles. You can turn everything on and off without actually being in front of the power station. Right down here, you have some battery pack information and this shows you information on your main battery. Then if you have expansions, it'll also show those here as well. 
Going into the settings, you have a few different things you can do here. First off, you have working mode. So you have standard UPS, but you can also customize it. There's PV, priority UPS, time control, and customize UPS. So you can customize how it acts and responds with the UPS function. You have charging mode. So you have silent, turbo, and standard. If you want it to be completely quiet, go with silent. If you need it to charge really fast, go turbo. But for regular usage and best battery life, I would recommend sticking with standard. You have eco mode where you can program the power station to shut off after a certain amount of time. A lot of power stations have this feature, but usually it's tied up into one. But as you can see, this is separated AC and DC. So you can set a different shutdown timer or completely turn on and off for AC and DC. And as you can see here, you can program it anywhere from one to four hours. Right here, you got version. So if Bluetti detects a bug or they upgrade one of the features inside the power station, this is where you'll get that upgrade. So it's always good to see a power station that gets upgrades and not one that where they just make it and forget about it. And then last but not least, you have advanced settings. If you don't know what you're doing, I recommend just leaving this as is, but this is where you'll change your AC output frequency, max charging from the grid, and then they have grid self adaption feature as well. And right there, you can see what that feature does. And that's about it for the app, but overall a well laid out app and very easy to use as well. So I know a lot of people get nervous when it comes to storing large batteries like this in their house, but rest assured you don't have anything to worry about as this does have an advanced BMS. This continuously monitors and protects the power station from over voltage, short circuits, temperatures, and many other things as well. Besides this, as I said earlier, the battery is UL listed and you also get a very good five year warranty to keep you covered in case you do have any problems. Overall, this is definitely a great power station. It performs a lot better than most others out there and even better, it comes at a very good price as well. So overall, if you happen to be shopping for a mid to large capacity power station, I would highly recommend this one here, which again is the Bluetti AC200L. If you would like more information on this power station, I also put a link to it in the description as well. All right, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.